bang, 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 bang. What's up? What's <laughs> up? What's up? <laughs> Y'all been looking for us, and we are back together. Yeah, buddy. Sean. We are here. It's good to see you, man. Hey, man, it's good to be seen. You in that tight-ass suit. Hey, <laughs> it's good to see you, bro. You in that shirt, tight-ass boot ass skin. You right. It'll be that. It'll be that, and I'm okay with that. Tasha? Tasha is over here looking beautiful as usual. Thank you. Thank you very much. I try to keep it together, you know. Yeah, you know, hey, you know, hold that thing together with duct tape, right? Yeah. Got my homegirl, Shy. Shy. What's up? Go on and give me that million dollar smile one Whatever. more time. One time. Whatever. One time. Give me, give me a little wank. Just. Whatever. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Y'all been looking for the doctors and we are here, man. It's good. It's been a while. It's been, it's been a long time, man. Yeah, I'm glad has. to be back up yeah. in here with y'all. Um. So what y'all been up to? Real quick, real quick, real quick, because I got some, I got some, I got some fire. I got some really? far. The far. I got far. some far. Yeah. What y'all been up to? Well, for me, still acting and school and, you know, mommy mode and, you know, just doing my thing. Okay. That's what's up. On my end, still pastoring, uh, actually helping with another church as well, still teaching school, still doing my clothier thing. So, yeah, we doing it. As for me, I am still doing my skincare, just doing my stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Being a mother to my human <laughs> and dab, dibbling, dabbling, just little bitty things. What about you, sir? Man, look here. I've just, uh, just been trying to be a better me. Like, seriously, I've, uh, I've, de- I've been dealing with some stuff here, man, as of late, man. With You know, it's mental health month. So, you know, I've been trying to get my mental health together, man. I, I dealt with a situation, man, I had to... Had to go see a doctor. And, man, because I let a whole bunch of stuff go, bro, you know, they talk about African-American men. As long as the bottom number, I don't pay attention to the top number. Mm-hmm. As long as the bottom number in your on your blood pressure is mm-hmm. registering, you know, below a 100, you're okay. Mm-hmm. So I was used to operating at a 97 and a 98. It was still kind of high. Yeah, it was still high. It was still high, but they would say, oh, you're, you're a big black guy. You know, you'll be okay. <laughs> right. And so... Man, I, I've I've learned to adjust and some and to resituate some things, and so man, my the bottom of my my blood pressure man been sitting at like 81, 79, That's 72. Good. That's good. But it's been so low to I don't have a lot of stresses that it feels funny still. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here, yeah. man. I've been taking care of myself, trying to get my life right with God. You know, He's still working on me. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and kick this thing off, bro. Cause, Let's go. Because I, I just got to talk about what I'm talking about, man. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, Miss Aisha. Yeah. Uh, this, I, I can't let it go. I mean, y'all y'all out there, you know, y'all y'all looking at us, y'all, y'all already know. This Aisha situation, man, got me disturbed. Deeply. Deeply. On I'm, this end. I'm bothered. My soul is shaking. Vexed, as the old You're folks bothered. say. You're bothered. I'm, I'm bothered. Yeah. I, and, and I don't... Um, I, I can't I can't, I can't let this thing go. And for y'all that don't know uh, what we're talking about, we're going to give y'all a real quick snippet, okay, so y'all can catch up and so y'all know why I'm bothered, okay? Mike, go on and hit us with that. And um, more understanding. Something that really bothers me and, like, honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, like, there are all these women, like, throwing themselves. But me, like, the past 10 years, like, I don't have any of that. Like I have zero, this sounds weird, but like male attention. And so then you like I begin to internalize that. it and I'm like, you're, is something wrong with you're me? Not, like, you're, you're not, not looking. looking. What? You're not like, looking. You're not even you're not looking. Looking. But I'm gonna tell you something else too. When your radar's turned off, cause I, I dealt with that for years too. Like, and I was young, like you. Yeah, I'm like, like oh my God, fair. I mean. Cause I don't what? want it, but yeah. it'd be nice to know that like, Someone's looking. But that when can your get radar's dangerous. turned off, <laughs> yeah. right, that you can beautiful. Get real don't dangerous. ever think for one minute that it ain't no some men out there looking at you like I wish. Honestly. And, and I'm gonna tell you who knows that more than anybody. And on so what's your issue with that? I wanna ask a question there. All of you Listen, <clears throat> I got a lot of issues with that. I got a lot of issues because for if if we if we had time, which we don't, to go through this entire you know ordeal she's saying in essence that she wants people men to look at her I thought that when you get married this is what I've been taught and the biggest things that I've been having issues like in a relationship with you don't want to get that attention from somebody else you need to be getting that from the person that you're with 
right? Right. Right. So you're sitting up there and you're seeking this. You're opening up a, a up an avenue for problems that come into your relationship, and in this case, your marriage. That's that's that. I mean, that's dumb. Okay, I'm gonna say yeah, it. It's, it's foolish. You know, here's my problem. My problem is not necessarily that she thought it. My problem is that she said it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I've heard I've heard ladies, you know, going on and on about oh she's just speaking her truth. Well, if I did the same thing as a man, I would be all kind of no good Negroes mm-hmm. if I got on 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 this platform even right now where we are and said you know what I have a beautiful woman by my side, but what I want right now is some attention from some other females. Mm, attention from the village. I mean, if I if I said that, even though even though let me say this first, because I, I already know you coming with a here's a catch. It, even though all of us think that, all of us like attention. Mm-hmm. We like attention. Exactly. But out of respect, I am not going to disrespect my lady that way. To me, what she did to him was twofold. Number one, she disrespected him openly in public. Mm-hmm. Number two, she just told every dude in America. It's okay to disrespect my husband, cause that's what dudes gonna do. Keon and I were talking about this. Most dudes have not approached her mm-hmm. because she is Steph Curry's wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, there are a couple of things that go with that. The first thing you look at is he make what thirty million a year. He t- he make a lot more money than I do. I can't give her nothing but penis. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's all, all you can give her. Give her. That's right. it. So most likely they would be intimidated to even approach her anyway. But don't think for one minute they won't try. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. But at the same time, if I'm in a relationship, I have tunnel vision, especially a marriage. I have tunnel vision. I've said it before. I have tunnel vision. You can't get next to me. That's just who I am. I don't. Okay, it's cool to be flattered here and there, but I'm, I'm, I really don't care about it. Thanks mm-hmm. for the compliment. Moving right along. Get away from me. Yeah. I don't I think she you she chose the wrong words, but I think she really was trying to say because as females, females are disrespectful to other females. Anyway, Chris Rock has mm. a super funny little joke about it, how women will say, you know, it's men will look at the woman and go, mm. he has a nice girl. I want a woman like her and women to look at her and go look at him and go, I want him and I'll yeah. I'll cut her throat. Mm-hmm. Women are disrespectful naturally. Oh. What I think she meant to say was she wished that he could feel the same way that she felt with all the attention, not for her to receive it, for her to know that it's out there, but for him to know that it's out there. Either way, I do believe she dis- she disrespected him. I do believe she opened up a, a door, but I really believe that her whole point was, you don't understand this feeling that I feel because they don't do it to you. Because you're Steph Curry. I'm Aisha Curry. They still look, look at you and go, hey, Steph. Cause, and women, will they don't care. They'll be your side piece. They'll be whatever. And they'll offer it in front of your wife. They'll join your, you and your wife. So for me, I feel like she chose the wrong words. Be that as it may. That sounds like And she a, shouldn't have said it. I agree that she shouldn't have said that, it. That sounds like, if she does feel that way, that sounds like a, now you're competing against your husband? That it's sounds insecure. like a competition well, it's, And it's not I mean, an insecurity. I don't, I don't you, dig that. you want people to feel what it is. I mean, I say it all the time. Beyonce writes, wrote songs about it. Sometimes I wish I could walk in your shoes, do the type of things that I'll never, ever do. It's something that men... For her, in her case, she wants to, she wants him to have the understanding of what it feels like to be in her shoes. Wait, what are the shoes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me attack. I don't. Let me, let me, I don't agree with let, her let me, let me, um, saying that. Okay. I don't believe that she was right. I'm not defending her, but what I am saying is that that's what I think she was. Tr- I don't think she was saying start DMing me. I don't think that's what she was asking but that's for. That's what she opened up. I yeah. know, but I don't think she. I said I think she chose the wrong word. So so watch this. What you just said, the comparison you used, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Love Jay-Z, I'm a fan. Before I say what I'm about to say. Versus Aisha and Steph. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) Steph is the dude 
at the court, guys, I got next. Yeah. He's the vanilla guy. That's what yeah. he is. That's just what he hey, is. He's not the vanilla guy. He is. G Willikers. <laughs> I mean, did you see the vanilla guy? Did you see them dang shoes that he put <laughs> out terrible. a few years ago? That was thank, terrible. Thank you, Jesus Three. Exactly. <laughs> it does. It doesn't matter. I mean, no disrespect to Steph. I mean, just know, in case you watch it, homie. Just, you, just you, you know, watch this though. He is known to be faithful. Right. Yeah. Okay. Jay Z is known to cheat. She going to write that song because Jay-Z yeah. been clowning. But mm. Sean, it goes to what you just said. This may, And she acknowledged it on the show. He does everything. He's a great yep. dad. He does this. He does this. What do you want? I thought that that's what you all want. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all want a man that's going to come along, that's going to treat you right, that's going to try do everything he can. This man, whether he feels like it or not, is out there on that court, dislocated finger or not. I don't like the Golden State Warriors, but that's something altogether different. But this man is out there every night up and down that court doing whatever it is that he has to do to bring money into that house and to help invest into the things that you have going on. And you are still not satisfied. Petrol in children. Chronically, you're chronically hey, dissatisfied. Hey, hey, Aisha, um, I can't do anything to make you happy. Yeah, shut up, Tasha. Would you, you like to switch with my ex? You can take my ex and I'll take yours. I'll take your husband. You can have my ex. I, I, I swear you're going to cry yourself to sleep at night. That's not what that girl, she didn't say she wanted anybody else. She just said she lacked, she does not get the attention now. Like I said, do I think she was wrong for saying that out loud in a public place? Absolutely. Do I think she chose the wrong words? I really do. But she said what she said. But I don't yeah. think, I don't really think that she okay. meant okay, for so other people to start. I saw DMing something her. else. I'm not sure. I just kind of uh, slid on by it when I was, I read it and I was like, hmm. And I think it was something that she said about, she was open about telling her husband that she was wasn't satisfied for she has not been satisfied for a while now and she said he's okay she said of course yeah he was hurt but um i did tell him that and that's why he loves me because of our transparency um i think there's not a, there's a, there's a line exactly but sexually. i think there's but i think there's a line well but she sure walk around this mug with three babies with one of them she poked she um, talking around um <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> hey that's, that's, that's some satisfaction hey, that's, going she, somewhere she was just ready. locking in the bag i think man whatever. okay one one is locking in the bag three she was enjoying that she was i mean yeah I guess. I don't know. I mean, I it, but I hope she didn't say that. say that out loud. There's just some things that you just don't discuss. I, I mean, know. I don't, I don't I hope care she if didn't you don't say feel, that. I, I feel like you should be, you talk to your husband about that. Don't go on Red Table Talk and tell people. I can, you know, transparency, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm transparent. But it's just some things mm-hmm. you keep inside your marriage because now guess what you just did? Yeah. You open up, up the door these for doors. all yeah, these you, bras that's and been waiting. Not, no, no, not, not even just that. Yeah. Not even just the, that. Not even just that. You just, when you do that kind of stuff, you open up more insecurities inside of your mm-hmm. marriage and you give people a key. Yeah. To open, so to now, now women door. are going to be like, well, she don't, she, she says she's, you know, mm-hmm. she's not satisfied it's, or, you know, I wouldn't do that to you. Look, it's it, it it comes down to the appreciation piece, okay? Mm-hmm. It, it does, and and I've said this jokingly for a long time, man. That you know, in in the relationships, because I've had that issue too before. I'm I, guys, listen. I know who I am. I have a PhD in me. I know my my ear areas. Like I said, I've been working on some stuff here <laughs> as of late um, with myself. And what's happened is. I just want somebody that's going to appreciate what I bring to the table. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, I, and I've said and joking that with some with some old friends of mine, I said I'm gonna go down to the Star Hope, to the women's shelter. <laughs> I'm gonna you find me so a woman stupid. down there You're that's so gonna appreciate stupid. some stuff. Oh my I'm just God. saying. I'm just hey. <laughs> I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. At any rate, I'm not trying to defend this lady. I don't. She's absolutely wrong. Ten toes down, she's wrong. Mm-hmm. I, I think I that agree. she. I, I think what happens is. Um, some issues just like y'all just said it needs, just needs to it stay just, in the house yeah, man you just does. deal with those things you working on your esteem self-esteem is something that nobody can give you that's why it's called self-esteem you know I'll and i'm being critical that's the coaching that's coming up out of me but no you, uh, you know the pastor and me coming out now so, mm-hmm. so go on and preach so, about look, it look know, at him uh 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 so 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 check it out <laughs> gotta get that little stuff so 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 anyway the Bible clearly tells us 
that the older women are to teach the younger women mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to be wise. I, I think the smart thing to do there would have been to approach some women that were wise, mm-hmm. that she knew and that she trusted and got that out. I guarantee you she spoke to her mother-in-law about that. I'm sure she did. But but that was sensational. So just like we're talking about it right now, that's why they talked about it then. But I just thought it was very foolish to do. So, I agree. You know? And then let's so let's not let's not run by the fact that we get this. Um, you know, obviously, Black Twitter got a hold to this thing. And just, <laughs> oh my God, they ripped this thing up. Uh, Mike, you got you got that picture, man. Look, that, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but I saw another one when they were talking about <laughs> when they were talking about how. Um, they showed this meme of Steph laying back after playing the game. He's laying there with his head back, and Aisha's got his phone texting those words that that Steph was supposed to have sent out and mm-hmm. hit send. Like mm-hmm. he's the, he's the nice guy. He's the nice guy. Um, and I don't. I would be very interested in finding out what he. Now I understand he's supporting him all that stuff. But I'd be very interested in finding out how this man really feels about his mm-hmm. wife going out there. Yeah, the transparency, all that other stuff. This sounds awesome, man. You're trying to win a championship. You're trying to, you know, be in the runnings for whatever you're trying to be in the runnings for uh, to be the president after you finish playing basketball. But, dude, at some point, humanistically, that thing there has got to, that's got to hurt mm-hmm. for yeah. your people to go out there and you busting your butt the way that you do uh, to take care of. And, again, don't get me wrong, she's got her own stuff. I understand that she's a millionaire, whatever, all that stuff. I get all of that stuff. But y'all been together since you, what, 15 or so? Whatever the case is, and, and that's all you've ever known. Uh, okay. So you can go and go jump across that fence you want to. Leroy, no, Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone going to come over there and go hit you. And that's all he going to be able to bring. Dude, mm. I mean, I ain't even say it. I'm gonna say it. He gonna walk around in some sweatpants. That's all he gonna do. Make us say, "Ah, I hear the <laughs> Oh God, you would. <laughs> any rate, any rate, I ain't, I ain't for to spend too much more time on that. I had to get it out, so I'm sorry. I, I had to get that out. I feel better. I, I don't know. All I can tell y'all is, as for me, choose your words wisely. And be ready for that backlash because there is out here, out here in in the world wide web, there is no empathy, no sympathy towards no mm-hmm. anything, mm-hmm. and they will never forget, nope. never mm-hmm. forget. Yeah, you can lay low if you want to. <laughs> yeah, somebody gonna bring that thing back up somewhere down the line. Any rate, what else, uh, Tasha? Okay, so I have the topic. All right. This for today. Right. She's bringing it in on a on a cold platter. Yeah, because, you know, I have a couple questions about this stuff, you know, and I just, you know, we need to know why. Okay. Hopefully you guys can shed some light. So one of the topics for today is, would you rather your significant other lie to you or tell you the truth? <laughs> Sean eats a Twix. (laughs) 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 Would you rather your significant other lie to you or tell you the truth? That's a hard one for me. That's a hard one for me. I would say tell me the truth because you're giving me the opportunity to make the decision as to if I still want to deal with you or not. Yeah. So if I decide to swallow that and say, okay, he told me the truth, I'll rock with you anyway. Then whatever comes with that, that's on me. That's that's on me. Yeah. Um, I, don't tell me no lie. I'm not good with that. I don't like shadiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. I don't like shadiness. Tell me the truth. The Be whole transparent. Truth. Communicate the whole the truth. Whole don't truth. leave nothing out. <laughs> yeah. Tell me song that. We you can know. Do that. Let me know. Let me know something so I'll know where to put you. Yeah. Mm. You know. Yeah. It is not. I'm not saying that. Oh, you would just be. You know, exed out is a possibility. You might be depending on how I'm feeling. But I'm just saying, I can respect you more if you tell me the truth versus you telling me a lie and then I have to find out later that you told me a lie. Mm, That don't go, I don't do well with that. I I think, I don't even know about that part because I think for me, I I used to be like, there are a lot of things, and I still believe that. There are a lot of things you don't really necessarily want to know the truth to. But my thing is, I really want to know the truth. But I definitely want to know the truth once I find out you're lying. That, to me. What? I want to know the truth out the bat. If I find out you left something out, 
I want the whole truth. At that point, now I be, and that's just me being honest. Mm-hmm. I may not push for a whole one hundred percent because I feel like you are you the floor is open. You have the opportunity to be one hundred percent transparent. When you choose to not be transparent, that right there, that now becomes a consequence for when the truth really does come out. So now I want the whole truth. And what happens is you can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. It doesn't matter at this point, though. At this point, it's not about handling the truth. I it want becomes the truth. one of those things where now you're gonna now you everything is gonna rest upon. You know what, Chikozi? <laughs> you can sit and spin. <laughs> I've been holding my been tongue. I've been time. holding my tongue. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm saying, tell the truth. But if you leave something out that you know is important. That's a lie. And as far as I'm concerned, now that I caught you in that lie, I have, I need you to tell the whole truth. No matter how ugly it is. That's not your right to take that option yeah, away yeah, from me. Yeah, don't take don't take that away from me. Like don't. I need to, I need the truth. I just I want the truth. I desire the truth. I don't care if it hurts. I want to know because I can respect you for that. A cut a, a clean a truth tells a clean cut. A clean cut heals better. A, a lie is a jagged wound. It don't heal as well. It does way more damage. So That's I say deep. hit. That is, that is deep. That's pretty deep. Shonda, Y'all know I'm a poet. Shonda, Y'all know I'm a poet. Sean, do you want to go first or you want Go me? ahead. I'll let you go. I, I have a very simple so, answer to this. I mean, I do too. I mean, I, I really want to be and able. And don't say you can handle the truth. But it, not, yeah. I, but I, but I, a lot of answers. I was, answer. being, I was being messy Listen, when I said yeah, that. Yeah, of course. So in, 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 in situations, it, it's always dependent upon the situation with me. Um, I don't. You nobody wants to sit there and come out and lie. I will not tell you all of it, which I guess constitutes still, you know, withholding is still the same. But if we and, and it depends on where we are in the stages in our relationship. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I was talking to a, to a coworker of mine. I, I I will not. I don't typically lie to people that I care about. If I don't care about you, I don't care what comes out of my mouth. I mean, it's just. We don't have any connection. We don't have any bond. And nothing holds us together, right? And so if I understand that what I'm going to say to you is going to hurt deep, I mean, you could try to soften it up if you want to. But eventually, yeah, you'll probably have to tell people the truth. But the hardest part that I have is when you've already formulated your answer prior to me, Telling you yeah. what I have to say, then it no makes no sense. It na- right. makes no sense. You know what? I'm going to say you're right. You're already you're already because fixed on, you know, just yeah, not. You've already not understanding. Understanding. You're, 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 and you're not going to listen. And so, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all just in case my mama watching. Mama, you taught me wrong. <laughs> I'm just telling you, mama, you taught me wrong. And all y'all mamas probably taught y'all wrong too, because they all said <laughs> this same thing. And I'm coming God. right to you, and I'm looking at you now. Your mom probably told you there are two sides to every story. Mama, that's not correct. Daddy, that ain't correct. Grandma, whoever told you, that's not correct. There are not two sides to every story. There are actually three sides to every story. There's your side. There's this other version. And then in there, somewhere lingers and lies the truth. Okay? So the truth is in the eye of the person that's telling the story. Because if I'm coming home late, I was playing basketball. That's what I was. You know what I'm saying? You might think I was out there chasing after somebody else. I know that I was playing basketball with Sean or I was out bowling or something like that with Sean. You're guaranteeing that I was out here doing something else. So whether I tell you the truth or not, you already got your your position in your head. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, whole just story. talking about what I'm talking about. Just huh? talking about what I'm talking about, man. That's it is what I it feel is. like I feel like when you do things like that, that you just still take that option away. That's not then that's not to me, and that's on both sides. That's just not a relationship. That's not a healthy relationship, and that's not gonna lead to one. So if you don't if you can't be one hundred percent and you can't dig it out, then leave it alone. Okay. Here's the difficult position you guys put us in. I'm fin- I'm finna just kind of take this to everyday living and not just, you know, who you've been out with. Mm-hmm. Baby, how I look in this dress? Hmm. Well? Oh, I don't ask those questions. I know I'm bad, so hey, whatever. <laughs> you mean bad being bad or bad being good? <laughs> bad hmm. being good. I say, or, or truth is in the eye of the beholder. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, there are certain things that if I tell you the truth completely, mm-hmm. 
it's going to put a strain on us for a second. Just say it's going to be hell in that house. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. Yeah. So 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 you kind of put us in a position no. where we sometimes have to lie. Sean, do how, hey, I I just I just cut my hair. How does my hair look? You look like Florida Evans. Now I'm on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, how does my hair look? Well, you know, I'm kind of you know what you look great. Now that's a lie. But why aren't you touching me like you used to? Cause it feel like I'm, I'm like, feel like I'm in the touching the dude here. I'm just saying. I don't want to ball. Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> I don't like your hair like that. And but yet that's freeing to you. He said, "Feel right? like you're touching a tennis ball." Okay, <laughs> a dirty, a dirty one. A dirty tennis ball. But, a dirty one. But 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 you know what though? Let's talk talking about mm-hmm. that though. Women use their hair as a vice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's their covering, right? Mm-hmm. And so they use that thing to to shape, shape and shift and control. A, a situation. Well, if you don't like my hair like this, then that what does that say about, well, about <laughs> your hair? Say, it just it says that you're not attracted. That's it. But there's nothing wrong with that. Because here's the thing. You know, while we talking about hair, we got in trouble for this show. Sure, we this? did <laughs> get in trouble. So, so 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 we do everything we do for y'all. And everything. we do everything we do for y'all. No. No. Yes, no. Y'all, don't. no y'all, don't. y'all do it for other male attention. That's no, what y'all do. It for y'all. Y'all. No, more than more than likely probably for other females. It depends on right. other females. That's exactly where I'm going. Because you had that Florida a- Evans afro and your girl's going to be, oh, girl, that's cute. Yeah. And <laughs> somebody going to lie to you. Cute yet. No, he ain't going to say it's cute. I'm going natural. Naturally what? By yourself? <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. So let me <laughs> let me not wear deodorant. We going natural. Exactly. We gonna, we gonna go out. natural. We going natural. That's what we gonna do. I understand this, that the situation is what causes what I get. That we're not talking about in just those situations. Like y'all gonna make it light, but the truth is, I was watching a reality show, and the girl got into it. Her and her boyfriend worked at the same place. Got into it because one girl. Who she was just an attractive female, mm-hmm. and it, I'm sure it made her jealous. He went. He took the girl out to eat to quote unquote talk about how he was apologizing to the girl for the girlfriend going off on her because she's always flirting with her boyfriend. He didn't tell her. Mm. Just when she thought everything was good, her friend was like, "Yeah, because you know when they were out to eat the other day." <laughs> mm. That's Excuse more me? extreme, though. I mean, that's, but that's what, what we're not talking yeah, and about. You, and you see, we're, we're talking about extreme lies. Yeah, see, see, we're got, not talking got, about just lying to lies, us period. about your hair, you just, or your clothes. I mean, the lies I'm talking lies, about the whole lies. I'm yeah, talking about the lies, lies. lies. Yeah. Look, no. Keon, correct. Stop me when I'm lying. But when mm-hmm. I was growing up, mm-hmm. a white lie got you a whooping, just like a big lie. Yeah. Yeah. A white lie got you red and blue marks yes. on your body. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so a lie is a lie. Yeah. You know. Example, <laughs> you talking about that. We talking about somebody mentioned here. C. Hut says, a lot of me surprised me. I got a surprise party I'm trying to plan for you. No. You nosy. You know all y'all double O Negro. Come on right. now. That's mm-hmm. what y'all do. Nope. Y'all figure everything out. So yeah. I got a lot of you yeah. mm-hmm. to make sure you don't find out about this surprise I'm trying to give you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing happens. I'm lying. That would probably be the only time that you would get away with it. We'll be like, what? "Oh, okay." Not even just that. No. Here's the thing. I think I don't I don't even think that. I think I think if you are human enough, you know that there's going to be a little lie somewhere. Mm-hmm. I believe in giving people the opportunity to at least be transparent. You still choose not to be transparent. Now we have a problem. But I, I I feel like this. <laughs> we should build a relationship strong enough to where we can be transparent with one another and not be scared that the other person is going to flip out for lying. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of relationship that I want. Tell me the complete truth. I can't do nothing but respect you. Here's the thing. I can always count on you. Like if I come to you, you no, I'm saying I can always come to you. And if I ask you something, I I know that you're going to tell me the truth. And I mean, what can I do? I can't do anything about that. It's true. Yeah. I only love you more. Even if it pisses me off, 
but I'm not gonna show that in front of to you. I'm not gonna clown I just you, still, right? Yeah. But I, but I can't, I can't do anything but respect you for telling me the truth. Ex- okay. And that's it. And when you All find right. out, like I said earlier, tell me if you got a lot of me. Mm-hmm. The problem is when I find yep. out. <laughs> that's yep. the problem. That's when you I have the problem. You yep. To be that's completely have the transparent, because yep. what happens is that little lie, especially. I mean, and I we've all been in situations where you the lie the lie is so dumb. I like, feel you violated like, when I'm yeah. When you're I'm, like, I but why so did you violated. lie about dis- that? You know, I feel violated. I, yeah. I, I, I'm disappointed. Because if we wouldn't have lied about it, that, we wouldn't have stop hearing about it for the rest of the night. That's or, not or, true. Or exactly, because you that's cannot not go to sleep okay, because so they're going to constantly. Okay, okay, well, why we, you lie, Craig? And blah blah blah. No. Okay, so that brings me to my next question: mm. Are you telling a lie to protect me? Mm-hmm. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. To protect the, to protect your main piece or your side piece. No, it's not about the side piece because y'all, everybody always thinks that there's a side piece involved and things like that. You're talking about from an infidelity piece and all that stuff. Everybody don't lie because they got the whole side piece situation. Some people lie because I just don't want to talk about that. I don't want that to be the main course in our dinner for tonight. We want to sit here and keep harping on this same old. I don't want to lie, but I don't want to talk about it. That's it. I don't want to talk about that. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I <laughs> just don't want to talk about that. Forget you, Jaco. <laughs> no. my, my girl C. Hut. Yeah. That's what she said. Most men lie because they're scared of the possible consequences that they feel may not fit the crime. And that's true. But and here's the thing. Guess what happens when you get caught in a lie? Now you got a big, now you really, you did a big crime. Now we no, got an issue. that ain't what she's yeah. saying. That's not what she's saying. It's what we just get through talking about right now. You turn a mountain into a, turn a molehill into, into a, a mountain. mountain. No, that's not always the case. I've been in situations where it wouldn't have even mattered had you just been honest. But it now does you, matter because you're asking about it. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter, and it doesn't matter. I think that when people put themselves in, in little situations like that, they just don't know how big they're making it. Now you made a mo a little whatever it is into a damn mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that's on. how i feel hold on i'm gonna open this up for y'all to jump in we got something different that we're gonna do tonight that you guys haven't been really used to us doing we're gonna open up the phone lines give us a call and give us your opinion number is 936-585-4627 call in and join in the conversation but no look hey, and don't be taking up all the time right yeah just give us your blurb we're gonna address it i know probably chicos is probably gonna be one of them that call in Oh, you um, know he's going to be the first yeah, one to call. Exactly. Again, y'all, and uh, we'll, I'll post it. We'll get it posted up here in just a second. It'll come on the feed real quick, okay? 936-585-4627. Uh, five, five, uh, so, again, so I think that if you, <laughs> y'all say that it's not that big of a deal, but why do you make it a big deal when we give you our answer? I don't make I don't it a big deal. I just want the truth. That's it. I, but again, it's going to be a problem if you lie to me. Anything I come out of your, anything to come. All right, here we go. Tasha, you and I are dating, right? Okay. Keon, you came in late or whatever. I called you or texted you on your phone about four or five times. You were supposed to come and see me, blah, blah, blah. I did not reply to you, okay? Didn't reply. So then I come over and then I finally come and see you. Hey, why ain't you answer the thing? Whatever answer comes out of my mouth is going to be the answer. Period. That's the answer. You don't know if that's the truth or just a lie. But you've already formulated in your head what the lie is. You was out there doing something, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is, I tell you, it's going to be my truth. But then you probably need to leave Tasha alone. No, 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 no. no. But Tasha doesn't know. But what you I'm saying, if, you, if, you, if that's the way you feel, I feel like if that's the way you feel, if you feel like everything you is, uh, here's because that's the other side of that. You're pre, you're preconditioned to think she's already come up with an answer when she probably didn't hadn't even come up with the answer, but you're already on the defense. <laughs> she a girl. <laughs> she already Shut got it. She already no. got an answer. No, women, ladies, ladies, not always true. Every single one of y'all got an answer to that <laughs> question. When your man don't do blah blah blah, you already done formulated in your mind what he doing. Tip, just stop me when I'm lying. You ain't lied yet. I will wait. I got time. No, I actually I don't. But. <laughs> I still say that I feel like I don't know if lying is always done. There there have been some lies, I know, to protect people. I will say that that's possible. But what I will not say, what I will say, too, is, like I said earlier, 
if you got to lie to me, lie to me until I find out the truth, and then I want the truth. It takes a lie to... to you got to so keep covering I it up. I don't want no lie. I don't want no goddamn lie. Don't give me no damn lie. So we got to call her, y'all. Uh, <laughs> we got to call her? We got to call her. Somebody, somebody brave enough to call in. Oh, yeah, she cozy. <laughs> Who we speaking with? Talk to us. Oh, man. First of all, good evening. How y'all doing? Good Thank evening. you, my dog. Still, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, man, I just have one quick quick statement, more so or less. I, I mean, I understand the topic of, of fabricating and lying or whatever, but aren't women probably the biggest liars of them all? Tabernacle. Yes. And, and I, Hallelujah. I, I, I said that to say, no, I'm just serious. I said that to say from the weed to the to the eyes. Oh, boy. The, hey, oh, hey. Oh, man, you about, you about to blow this whole oh, studio up. Oh, you better cut that out. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> That's not a lie home. because you guys hey, know that we're wearing it. Off. I thought I had another woman in the bed with me or something. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing good for you because maybe, maybe oh, she was my. trying to give you some variety. No, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just man, look at him. Yeah, but I, I enjoy y'all topics, man. Uh, yeah. Y'all got nothing but but great things headed for the future, and uh, I'm always support y'all, man. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you so much, Thank you man. too. But hey, this dude hit he, he hit that right on the head, bro. The gold, come on, and I'm gonna go there. Y'all ain't you got shit. the eyelashes. Hey. <laughs> That ain't real. You got the you got the first padded, all, you got the spanks. First, in that case, first, I don't mind you first, lying to me, honestly. First That's of all, real. see, first, it, I, I I did y'all hear that? He what? said he it's don't not a lie. lie if you know that's what we're wearing. It's not a lie. I mean, goddamn, y'all don't want us to look good for you. Now we run around here looking like Florida What's Evans. What's the song? What's the then song? Then it's gonna be another what? problem. Damn, 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 damn. Is it fake? Damn. Y'all ain't Is shit. Oh, a, I don't know. You a you a fake? Baby, oh, bad. yeah, that song. I don't know. That. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm. I guess I'm getting old. I don't know that joint. Mm. That's ju- I don't know it. But what is it? I don't. I don't know the song. I we forget might who it is. Jacozy said, first date, take a swimming." <laughs> 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 I ain't getting my hair wet. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I and, and I agree, man. They they have all of this stuff that is that is not true. But then you want to jump on a man for not being. Who he is? There is no way. Oh man, we oh we got it. We done lit it back. There up. is no way you can justify that. So that wasn't a fair. That was a low blow. Okay, well we finna go to the uppercut and get this phone caller. Hey caller, who? Hey, tell us who your name is. We wanna we wanna uh, acknowledge you. Hey, this Claude man, enjoying the show. What hey, up, Claude? Cummins? Hey, hey, there, there's one obvious one that you guys are leaving out that women always use to set us up, and it goes to something like this. Hey, what you think about the outfit so and so so and so had on? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's loaded. Yeah, that is. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't do me that. Me personally, I don't because <laughs> I, I, do that. I, I mean, I don't, you know, I, I look too, so. I, I know, me too. I'm like, I look, I look too, too so. You I mean, look too? I look, yeah. yeah. Man, you crazy. So if I'm Why walking, not? so Tasha, if I'm dating somebody and I'm walking, you know, you, yeah. So I would be. Well, I would probably be one to be like, damn, she got a fat ass. I'm not saying but, I like women, but I watch. Yeah, I look I, too. It's she cute. Look. She cute. But it's you got to look first. Too. You got to look first. I can't look first and say, hey, baby, look over there at that. I can't do that. Nine times out of ten, we gonna probably look at the same time. Okay. No. We gonna probably anyway. catch us at the same time. No, we gonna probably not. both be like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. There's a difference you with you know looking that. and then you sitting up there flirting. I don't. I would never ask that question. On Why? some bullshit. What? I'm just trying to. What if it's Aisha Curry? <laughs> and I'm just trying to give her. <laughs> I'm just trying want. to give her what she wants. Well, you ain't got what she not needs, today. so you wouldn't good. get her have a chance anyway. Have have at it. That was good. Just I tell you, this is what Aisha Curry wants. Sean, give. <laughs> we glass all one break. you be able to get her as Jack. <laughs> Claude, thank you for uh, yeah. calling us, man. I appreciate no it. Problem. All uh, right, man. <laughs> well, that's hey. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, well, I don't know so. how to protect nobody, man. It's it doesn't make no sense. Christy, call in. I don't understand what you're saying. No one, no one said anything when women wore relaxers. Mm. Relaxers. Christy must be a little little up in age. She might be around oh, us. Oh, no, 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 no. Christy said relaxers. Relaxers. I mean, that's what it is. It's not a perm. Right. But it's but the thing is, it could be a relaxer, but it's your hair. It's like you getting that doggone hot comb back in the day, that that, <laughs> that, that, that thing to go through there. All it is is straightening out your hair. Mm-hmm. That's not you going to go add some hair. Okay, so we can get to my next <laughs> question. Chikosa, you need to leave her that one alone, too. Chikosa, tell me that 10 years later, she'll bring it up out the blue. Yes, she will. <laughs> <laughs> sure will. Chikosa always uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, he go he know how to stare it up. What's up, Chicote? I miss you, man. Mm-mm. Not yeah. like that. That's not like that. that, 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 that sounded like right. <laughs> relax, man. I'm I'm the manliest man in this room. Mm. Uh, <laughs> was that a dance? I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> Tasha, that was a dig towards you, you. Okay, so I have another question. No. Would you date no. someone that tells you he or she is currently healing from a past relationship? I, 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 honestly, I, I've learned that I <laughs> no. probably ain't going to be doing that. Yeah, honestly, I, I've learned that I probably will not do that. I'm definitely not ever and, doing that. Yeah. H-A-Y-L-E. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, I, I think people need to take the opportuni- to, uh, opportunity to heal. Mm-hmm. I think people need to heal. People, we, a lot of people, people don't. A lot of people don't take the time to heal. They just jump from one relationship to, to the, the next, next, to the next, to the next. And although it may, um, because it's something new and it may help you for a while and you start feeling good again, but jumping into another relationship could be some more bullshit like the last one. Yeah. So now you're just adding insult to injury. So I do think that um, everybody needs to heal before jumping into another relationship. Yeah. Courting is always a good thing. Yeah, but I, even I, with that, you got to be careful because yeah. yeah. what, what you can find yourself doing is becoming aspirin for someone. That's right. right. You know, to right. Where, where now I, I, I become the Band-Aid for your pain yeah. mm-hmm. and, and nobody wants to be used, Yeah, you know. Yeah, I agree. I, I wouldn't do it. It's just a lot of times people don't even know what what they're actually uh, trying yeah, to what they're actually he, he gets on my nerves with that. Chick, really? Don't start that slow neck shit again. <laughs> a lot of people don't even know when they get into these situations what they're doing, how they're bringing that pain into your life or your relationship, and they don't know how their wall that they set up to protect themselves is actually becoming a blocking wall for you. So, absolutely not. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think it's a. Um, I, I just Wise. don't think that it's a good idea. But here, ironically, though, it's that's where. A majority of the situations that I've been in have been the case, and so um, and so I, I've had to I've had to learn how to curb that. Like seriously, I, I just it's just not it's not cool. It, like is that something that you attract up to yourself? I don't know, and I think that's probably what it is. Is because I come along, and I've always been that person. And I think y'all, that's that's how this show kind of starts for all of y'all that are new uh, watching us. Uh, Sean and I, you know, we were great friends. Shout out to Claude Cummings, man, who gave us really our first opportunity, mm-hmm. you know, over on a, on another uh, network. But what has happened, this show came about because, you know, we have a lot of female friends. I know that I do and Sean does. And so, and I say a lot, but, you know, people come to us as a man because we are that cool brotherly type of person that I ain't trying to jump in the sack with you, okay? And so they ask us, what do we think? This means when he does ABC. And so what ends up happening is you find that the more you communicate and the more you talk to a person, it brings about it brings about a closeness. You know what I'm saying? And then ultimately Mm -hmm. those things can become transformed into relationships and you start getting feelings. And then one thing leads to another. And then you wake up the next morning, find yourself in a relationship and a whole relationship, (laughs) you know, Mm -hmm. got two dogs, a cat and, you know, whatever. And you find yourself in those types of relationships, and that's been a, 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 an issue that I've had. And so I feel like the stuff that I bring is, like, underappreciated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I got to really watch what, you know, how I do what I do because it's, it's, it, it doesn't turn out well for me because, yes, I desire the relationship. Yes, I sit here and I have a great time here, but I desire to have that relationship with somebody that wants to have the same thing, uh, have the same thing with me. But it has to be something that is that is talked about, that is communicated, um, and not just something we're just guessing and we just fall That's into. Right. And, I mean, too, I think when you're not careful and you just jump into situations like that as a man, you put yourself in a position to become Mr. Right for right now. Yeah. You know, and you left me and a nice guy. Right. Finishing last. Right. And, and what That's happens is the dude that they really want, you become the, 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 the reflector that he sees. Wait a minute. She about to leave and go with somebody <laughs> else. Yeah. <laughs> and he comes back, mm-hmm. you know, and then you kind of left looking dumb. So yeah, that's, that's never a good idea. Yeah. And I, I like, and I think that we, when we do that, even if we're on the, if you're the hurt person, when you do that, you don't bring 100% to the table. And so you don't, 
see the full picture, which makes it hard to actually talk about and create a big picture with somebody else. And that's the reason why that I've come in my own personal stuff. I've come to the conclusion that when you deal with hurt people, you have to let them. Mm -hmm. You have to love them enough and care about them enough to let them go over there and work on that. Mm -hmm. Because right. that's not going towards this picture that we both said this, this, this. That's now that's being honest. That's being transparent. And that literally is a probably a hard, hard thing to do. It's hard to be alone. It's it's a lonely, yeah. lonely thing to mm -hmm. be alone. But Sometimes you got to do what's best for everybody in the situation, even if that means taking a break, stepping out, mm. leaving it alone. Sometimes you got to let people deal with their own mirrors, their own reflections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Captain, save them. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, I have another question. Hey, y'all can still call this in one now. It's going to be good, and I want y'all to most definitely call in for this one. This ought to be good. If you are dating <laughs> or talking to more than one person at a time, I'm going to put it like this. If you are... Should I just go with dating? God, say what you say. Okay, so if you're dating someone, um, more than one person at a time, should you tell them that you're dating other people, or should you keep it to yourself? Oh, I tell. I say yeah, it. Be clear. I, I, I like think to be you. Clear. Yeah, I think I think you need to do that because again, you don't want to put yourself in a situation <laughs> where something happens and then all of a sudden now you feel the pressures of being in a relationship because. Somebody had a lapse in judgment at one period and point. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of times, ladies, y'all think that a lot of times ladies think that once that happens, once it goes down, <laughs> y'all pitch that thing and he connected that you end up in your inner relationship. And now it's what it's supposed Not to be. That's, that's, that's something that has to be talked about yeah. to mm -hmm. me. That's yeah. that's something that has to be talked about. Um, that's why it's always good to be transparent and tell the person where you are so you don't have that misunderstanding. That's why I always say, let's be truthful you so I know it. where to put you. Tell them I'm in my pimp stage right now. <laughs> 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 it's to feel y'all that I am you know? friendly with. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you've you used this word, Tasha, here a lot here tonight. It's talking about transparency. Mm -hmm. There's a danger and being transparent with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, and, and not to take this thing to church, because uh, I'm not going to do that, but you <laughs> had a person that Samson was a very strong man who allowed himself to become transparent, and in the end, he ended up getting, he ended up losing all of his strength because he was transparent with the wrong person. Sean, you mm -hmm. can sway all back and forth if you want to. I'm going to disagree with you a little bit. That's okay, and so, you're supposed to. So so he's not being transparent. He's being intimate. There's a mm -hmm. difference. No, mm -hmm. no, no, bro. There's a difference. Mm. No, no, no. You're being intimate. Mm. Yeah, that's being, a difference. Yeah, but you are being intimate with that situation. Intimate into me. See, I get it. Tra Whatever. Transparent means I'm being upfront. I'm being mm. candid. Yeah. After mm -hmm. the situation. Oh, hear me. I'm being candid up front and telling you this is what I want. This yeah. is what I'm about. This is who I am. Being intimate as Samson was, I'm letting you know all of the, the everything about me, my my weaknesses, my strength. In his case, That's his right. weakness. I like that. But he he ultimately gave that up. That wasn't him being transparent. I agree with Sean. What on is that. it then? That was, that was him, him being intimate. being in, being intimate. He was okay, just well, okay. So what is intimacy? So, so so not to get us off on another show, but just to yeah, understand. I mean, uh, to understand. Stay tuned this, for that show. For, it's coming for, up for a <laughs> mm, man, we, and is. we've said this before. For a man, what we are looking for is what? Peace. Peace. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I want peace. So when a man finds that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he can lay his head down in her lap and begin to pour out the parts of him that nobody else knows about him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Let me help. Let you pause right there. Pause. So you all <laughs> say you want peace. Perfect. Please create the environment so that it can be a peaceful environment. Oh, hold on. This, this environment hold, hold may on. not be peaceful because we got another caller. <laughs> oh, caller, go ahead. What you got? All right. So um, if you're dating somebody or, or just dating random people, you're not really required to – oh, this is Chigsy, by the way. You're not hey. really required to say I'm dating other people unless there's a commitment there. I mean, so that's kind of a sticky situation. Yeah. You know, so if I'm dating someone – or someone's, I don't have to tell you unless there's a commitment. So that's that's my, my step on that. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I, agree I with appreciate that. that. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. And I, uh, I mean, 
it all depends. I think it's, it's so, so, situation. So watch this. And, and, and some things have changed, guys, since I've been on last. I was single when we were on last. I'm no longer single now. And, and anybody asked you for that plug? But, ah! but, shit! I'm hating. I'm hating. Shit! I'm hating. I'm she hating. Hating. watching. Hey, baby. No! Oh, 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 Nonetheless. Man, you're a sucker, man. Nonetheless. <laughs> when we first started dating, <laughs> listen. Yeah, the check, hear, hear me I am. It's, it's, it's one of those things about, it's about upfront what you're expecting. Yeah. Expectations were set out. When we first started dating, there were other people in the picture. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. He had Sh- other, uh, what you used to call it? Suitors. Options? Shop, shops, on the, shops in the fire. Oh, uh, irons in the fire. That. So <laughs> there were people that were there, <laughs> but I okay. really liked her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when she said something, she said, look, I don't do all that, all that you know, we dating all these other people. Mm-hmm. Either you with me and we dating, you know, or right. you know, let me know. You know, she kind of used what you said. If I if I need to be my pimp, you Drop know, them hoes yeah, off yeah, when they ask you to. So, <laughs> yes. so I had to count up the cost there, yeah, and say, okay, is these little is that is that worth it? No, That's it's right. not. Okay, so yeah. here I go, and so that was different because up front she let me know what was up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like his his responsibility in that part was if it wasn't for him to say and be up front with her. That's not what I want. That's not what I'm, that's not going to get me there. What I think a lot of people have a problem with, and I mean, we all have a problem with sometimes not knowing, like Aisha did it earlier. Sorry, her name came up again. But choosing the right words and saying what you mean and mean what you say. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, at a, at a certain point, at a certain age of ourselves, like our relationship mm-hmm. selves, that bull of shit is just that. Like, the, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, it all keeps sounding the same issues, the same problems, the mm-hmm. same this. Yes. That's that's called a repeat, and that's called, this is not what you want. Because yeah. if we're going mm-hmm. towards this, do right. this ain't getting us there. So at some point, if we can't come back to the table, come have a seat at the table and figure out what needs to happen in order to get to that place, if that's even the real place that everybody wants to go and you don't have to still want to be there you that changes you can you you have every right to wake up one day and be like you know what i've been thinking about this i don't want to go there i don't want to do that type of work that mm-hmm. that's too much work i'm not ready for that mm-hmm. yeah, and but I, like if you think somebody and like you know you still here? it's going oh. well <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry assuming sweetheart. That the, person, the person's gonna be thinking hey is this a good dude or it's a good woman I want to lose them, so I'm gonna put it out there. Hey, if you got someone else, we need to stop this because I'm feeling you. You're feeling me. Let's make this make let's make this thing you know more right, official. Right, right, right. My bad. Yeah. I didn't mean, cut you off like that. No, no, no. you're fine. No, you're good. We forgot okay. you were there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, <laughs> thanks yeah, for calling here. in. Thank you but for that, calling but in. That, but that's very true, man. You got to count up the cost, and then at some mm-hmm. point, some one of them horses gonna end up not calling y'all horses. But one of the horses is going to end up coming out there to the front. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One is going to be doing a little bit more than the other one. You but know that's what I'm saying? All, I, I, just, I don't know. But I think that's always going to be the case in relationships. Like, mm-hmm. I don't believe it's possible. I don't believe it's just always going to be 50-50 or whatever. I think it's going to be a 20% on one end and 80 over there. And you just have to be with somebody that w- that's willing to do that type mm-hmm. of work with right. you. Mm-hmm. So Adrian just said, if you're dating multiple people, I believe you should be honest and give the person the opportunity to decide if they want to be a part of it or not. I agree. I yeah. Because too, um, when you start dating someone, of course, mm-hmm. you become intimate. You start, you know, sexually active and all of that stuff. You and, be with that. you know, after a while, just being quite honest, you're not using protection anymore and blah, blah, blah. But if you're going to still be out here sleeping with other people, that's <clears> why <throat> I always say, please tell me the truth from the beginning. Right. So I'll know I may hold back. We might not have sex. We might just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we mm. we might just keep it like that. But I mean, you know, you get attached to people. Not to mention. Spiritually. Less, Yes, not to mention when you lay down with someone, you exchange energy, yeah. mm-hmm. you are now connected, and when you're sleeping with someone else, you exchange energy with them. You have a, fellas, you ever dated two different women that you were sleeping with both of them, and, and you notice that around the time when you want something from one, their cycles might be on around the same time? Have you ever noticed that? I've never had that situation. You never had but, that? <laughs> we ain't gonna bring up old stuff. <laughs> no. We ain't bringing up no old stuff. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. 
Look, no, all the hands curve. Long, 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 that's real. You're exchanging energy soul with ties. everybody. That's right, Some soul ties. You, and everybody's in a twine like this, and you wonder why you're in turmoil. It, it's always something. I thought the goal was to create a village. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was the goal was to create a village, Get to bring us all connected. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> We're just all supposed to be connected and fuck out of here. get together and sing No, Kumbaya. hell no. No, we'll no. get together and we're going to start a fight. Because <laughs> we're not going to do this you know, shit. No. Okay. I just don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be in none of that. I don't want to yeah. deal and with that. And I should have shit. a right to you know make that decision. Yeah. And, yeah. Like let me know. I don't want to be I don't want to be in that. I mean, you know? I had a kind of a double whammy uh, <clears throat> before I got into a relationship I'm in now. Uh something that's very Billy noted. I mean, that's kind of dude, quit saying that. <laughs> okay. You got it. Okay? You in a relationship? Shut you up, in a relationship, dog. You getting the relationship <laughs> points. You got them. Anyway, you know, the person it's cool, we kicking it, we hanging out. Some time had gone by. They recently divorced. Mm. When I first met them, oh, I'm good. You know, I don't, I don't, oh. you know, I, I don't, I don't need no time. I'm, I'm Shit, all right, man. Man, we get into it. I'm thinking things growing. They cool with just kicking it, and mm. I'm kind of like, okay, where we at? What we doing? Right. And because that wasn't put up up front, here I am at the end of it, kind of looking dumb. You know, so mm. so I think. That needs to be discussed up front, and you need to be honest about it. Because even I, ask, I asked the person, and they weren't honest. But again, Sean, what you're asking the person to do is to be transparent. And sometimes those are those are those are points that can get a person. Man, everybody, it's not it's not easy for Superman to take off that cape. It's not, and and you that's what you want out from the front door. That's going to take a little bit of time. That's just being honest. Again, I'm not but asking you to tell selfish. me no, no secrets. Okay, here we I'm go. I'm asking you to tell don't me Don't be selfish. selfish. But what don't y'all, gonna, selfish. What y'all, what y'all are going to learn here on this show here is I'm from the country, from the potty woods of East Texas, and I use a whole oh, bunch of- Oh, Mitra's calling. Hey, oh, we got a caller? We got a caller? No caller? Yes, caller? Okay, okay. we don't have a caller, but caller, you better hurry up because we're running out of time. We're going to shut this down in a minute. But um, what you're doing is you're talking about being honest, Okay. And I and uh, I got in uh, got into some trouble with this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You can't use your ass as a measure stick for somebody else, yes. because what's honest to you may not may be a place of vulnerability for the other person that they're not ready to deal with just yet. Mm-hmm. And so, because you would do it, because you were raised a certain way, you're putting that ethos off on somebody else, and they are not there yet. And you mm-hmm. and are they wrong for holding back? They mm-hmm. might care about you, but I can't. I don't do it the way that you do it, and mm-hmm. so therefore I get vilified for doing it that way. Well, I don't. That's and, not cool. And I think that's the why other I say you got to create, create, create that space. You know, create that safe, environment. Exactly. For, that you know what I'm saying. I can be your safety net. I'm not mm-hmm. trying. And because I understand it's because the, there are it's not easy for the other person. Yeah, either. I can that's understand the other side that there are a lot of yeah. women out there, and men tend to tread lightly on that because some women will allow you. She will be your safety net, and then she, and then as soon as she yep. get mad, she takes it and she throws everything back at you, and it and, and it scars a man. I understand mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. That's why you need to get to know who you're dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Most yeah. definitely, because a lot of people, a lot of us, we don't take the time to get to know people. Yeah. We, yeah. we just, we find that chemistry and we jump on it like, oh, yeah, I like this. this because this nobody, want, nobody wants still, to get off the ride. Well, yeah. not even just that. You, a lot of times you don't even know. And I feel like that, that's fair. That's human. You don't, you may not know that at the beginning, but at some point, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not that comfortable. I see this person is doing this. I see this person is ready for that. Obviously, I'm not ready for that. There's nothing wrong with that. You go back to the table and you admit that, Mm -hmm. but you don't sit up there and keep people around Mm -hmm. until you get ready. That's not fair, and that's being selfish. What you also have to understand is, you know, some people wear their representatives, as we talked about before. So whoever they are acting like they are at that, you know, you might not find. Some people marry their representatives. Yeah. And later on, you want, oh, you changed. No, you didn't change. All the signs were there. You were just mesmerized by this chemistry that we Mm -hmm. had going. And now all of a sudden, I'm showing the real me. 
you know, and yeah. now you're like, whoa, what the hell? No, that was yeah. her or him yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Well, I like about representatives, man, and, and like about sharing and chemistry is I love our chemistry, the way that we share here at this table. We're going to oh be God. coming back here, but my representative is tapping me on my shoulder and telling me it's time for us to get up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook, thank y'all for uh, Hi, y'all. hanging out See with y'all us. Next podcast, time. Seeing you guys Spotify, again. all of y'all, everybody, the spear. Y'all did a great job. You thank too. y'all. Mike, look out for us, man. <clears throat> thank you, man. I really appreciate y'all the callers that call in. We really thank y'all. We're going to be back. Y'all share this video. Click that little thing down and do all that stuff like that. All right? <laughs> Sean, it was great. <laughs> oh, Indeed. my God. It was great. It Tasha, was Shy, great. Sean. It was awesome, man. Good to be back. See you guys. Holla. Peace.